Robots from China are taking over the world China's largest robot exhibition. Beijing hosted the World Robot Conference World Robot Conference 2022 due to the ongoing pandemic in China. Only Chinese robotics companies were represented offline, the rest of the world joined online. But, as always, it was something to see at the Chinese stands. We have collected for you all the most interesting from the largest exhibition of robots in one video. You are on the Kara Show channel and we are starting. The Chinese robotics market is developing more rapidly. The country has been the world's largest consumer of industrial robots for eight years in a row and is increasing its production of its own every year. There were many industrial and medical robots, robots for logistics and agriculture and construction at the exhibition. Unfortunately, the Caxi Emi company, which recently presented the cyber-owned humanoid robot, did not come. Also, there was no Uptech Robotics with their Walker robot at the exhibition. However, even without them, the bionic and anthropomorphic robots have become a magnet for visitors. The Chinese company that creates facial recognition software and humanoid service robots, Cloud Ginger XR1, provided by Cloud Minds Technologies, delighted the expo goers with dances. The robot's 34 intelligent flexible joints in its neck, shoulders, elbows, wrists, arms, waist, and knees, each with multiple 2D and 3D cameras and ultrasonic sensors, allow it to move seamlessly. Microphones, universal wheels, and a tricycle chassis. In addition, Cloud Ginger can move independently drink and avoid obstacles up to 158 centimeters in height and 65 kilograms in weight. The LED Humanoid Robot won the Chinese Red Star Design Award for its appealing appearance. It is capable of speaking, seeing, and moving. Its applications range widely from teaching and providing care for the elderly to working in hotel business centers and taking part in advertising and promotion widespread advertising and entertainment programs. One of the most promising companies is X-Robots, which is at the forefront of China's intelligent humanoid robot research and development. It also holds the top spot globally in the creation of bionic skin and the ability to mass-produce bionic robots. The company brought to the exhibition humanoid robots resembling scientists Albert Einstein and Teresa Tay, as well as an avatar robot and a sympathetic robot. Our technique for building so robots has been around for a long time more than a decade. The company combined humanoid robots with metaverse technology to create the Science and Technology Museum of the Future Act project. Humanoid robots are a unique kind of product. Their manufacturing processes are extremely complex because we want to make robots even more human-like so that they can eventually replace people in the workplace. The most fascinating example of an X-robot was a robot named Avatar that mimicked a company employee by using a camera to record the employee's movements and facial expressions. The anthropomorphic X-Robot robots have up to 140 degrees of freedom throughout their entire body and are equipped with an independently developed robot operating system. The torso and limbs of the robots are controlled by dozens of flexible drives, which makes their movement and facial expressions more realistic. The developers of this robot claim that it was created to understand human emotions and respond accordingly. The primary purpose of the underwater intelligent bionic robot JSYS-3 demonstrated by China Aerospace Science and Industry Corporation, is to raise awareness of scientific advancements displayed at JSOI-3 in the shape of a featherless porpoise. These robots come in two sizes, half a meter and one and two tenths a meter. They have an eight and four hour battery life. Unitary Robotics launched the event with a spectacular dance performance featuring 100 Go One docks, showcasing multiple robot models simultaneously. The company also specializes in developing cloud-based systems of remote control terminals for intelligent robots, as well as various learning programs and platforms for artificial intelligence development and cloud security. We are a unitary company based in Hangzhou and we have been in business for almost six years. Our product line includes small, medium, and large stocks, each with a variety of uses. For instance, a small dock can be used for research, education, entertainment, and security. It can also be used as a guide dog and keep lonely elderly people company. Large and medium-sized stocks are mostly utilized for patrols and inspections in power and petrochemical facilities. Just a year after robots went on sale, the business has managed to sell roughly 10,000 units. It is noteworthy that Unitary Robotics is currently the only Chinese robotics firm to hold quality certificates from North America, Europe, Japan, and other countries. Every robot in the company can be fitted with extra hardware, such as a manipulator. The Intelligent Jewel Manipulator Platform, a foreign exhibit, was created by the Beijing-based company Realman, which specializes in developing ultralight robotic manipulators. The robot on display at the exhibition can perform tasks autonomously with one arm or two arms simultaneously, just like a human can. The lower portion of the platform has a mobile robot that can move around and avoid obstacles. 
It also has a voice module and deep fission technology which enable voice interaction and visual perception. China, which in just 12 years managed to become one of the most sophisticated and technologically proficient Chinese service organizations, demonstrated some interesting logistics and warehousing solutions. It specializes in the delivery of ready-made food, groceries, flowers, and other goods. Michoen is also involved in the marketing of information technologies, supply chain management, and financing. At the World Robot Conference, its services are utilized by around 40 million individuals daily. Michoen introduces intelligent sorting and delivery solutions, such as its newly created autonomous delivery truck that can go 120 kilometers on city highways on a single charge and has a payload capacity of 150 kilograms, 540 liters. The company was the first in China to set up regular delivery by autonomous robots, which are currently in use throughout Shenzhen and Beijing. The unmanned couriers delivered 200,000 orders and traveled 1.5 million kilometers over 800 days. Additionally, at the company's stand, a 3D sorting system with moving sorting robots, a shelving system of containers for the distribution of goods, and an operating platform were presented. The system can function in a predetermined mode without interruption, even in the presence of exhibition children who constantly interfere with its operation. The rhythm of the movement remained unbroken. Beijing Lei Attach, a company that specializes in producing emergency robots, unveiled its newest scout robot to the public for the first time at the WRC 2022. This robot can withstand temperatures of up to 350 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. It is small and maneuverable, weighing 45 kilograms, and it can move at a maximum speed of 0.2 meters per second. It can also operate autonomously for three hours. The fire brigade at the scene of the accident can first launch the robot into the building to inspect the fire scene, assess the extent of structural damage and flame spread, and ascertain the vital signs of the individuals inside. It is also suitable for use in environments with toxic gases. Aside from the firefighter robot, which the company was the first in the world to market, there were other industrial robots at the fair. Yasko, a Shubong robot, displayed an impressive new line for the production of automotive battery components. It consists of seven industrial robots and can withstand temperatures of 1,000 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. The robot has been used by Chinese emergency services for several years. The line has a production management system for gathering, storing, and tracking robot and process data. A transportable two-wheeled robot tire blower with direct drive is brought to the show. Motors Diablo's design allows its legs to bend and straighten independently of one another, combining the features of a typical spider and multi-leg robot. The 23-kilogram robot can jump up to 8 centimeters sideways and up to 14 centimeters high when it jumps on the spot. When facing challenges, it maintains its stability. 1 foot 5 centimeters high can clear obstructions, 10 centimeters in height. When a camera is added, Diablo may be used for patrolling in any environment. It also possesses good shockproof qualities, meaning that the robot will maintain its equilibrium in a collision no matter how strong. Diablo's maximum load capacity is 100 kilograms. The device costs roughly $2,300 and has a four-hour operational period without recharging. Beijing Institute of Technology displayed its advancements, which included a bionic arm, a cannon robot that jumped, and an anthropomorphic robot that could run at a maximum speed of seven and three-tenths of a kilometer per hour and jump 53 centimeters high. Agrobotics displayed many rehabilitation robots and an exoskeleton that assisted Chinese Paralympians in taking part in the Olympic torch relay for the Games. This year's expo focused more on medical technology. At its booth, Beijing Surgery Technology unveiled a robotic surgical system, the first of its kind in China to pass a rigorous inspection process for cutting-edge medical equipment. The system is made up of two parts, one with an operating table and a robotic arm, and another with a control panel. At the console, the operating surgeon operates surgical equipment and a high-resolution electronic endoscope remotely. The technology has undergone successful conical testing and enables minimally invasive procedures on a variety of abdominal cavity interior organs. Foreign systems currently available on the market. To work with them, you typically need to make four to five abdominal wall incisions. The FARA framework, because we have our own patented serpentine surgical instrument technology, and as far as we are aware, no single port laparoscopic robot has been introduced to the market yet, when is sufficient. These days, we do a lot of urology, gynecology, and general surgery surgeries. Many surgeons are very pleased with our equipment. This season, robotic tents have been installed to conduct PCR tests, which could be very relevant in China where population testing is still done several times a week, albeit slowly due to imperfect technology. 
So this is the end of our today's video, do you like it? Kindly give your valuable response in our comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting and informative videos.